everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at another Planet Zoo mod, which is the Southern Poodle? Poodle? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna call it a Poodle, uh, because that's how I would pronounce it. Uh, it's made by Leaf and Jen. And uh, as you can see on the picture here below me, it is a little deer thingy. Uh, some of them have antlers or horns. I think they're more like horns because they're not these big antlers. They are these two just pointing off thingies. Uh, there is though a little uh, difference. Some of them have them. Some of them don't have them. And some of them have these, you can see the white ones sticking up, the light ones. And some of them have like, uh, more like a lot of deers have these where they have this furry texture on them. Uh, I think this picture shows a little bit of both in the top. You can see it has that texture up there. Uh, I saw pictures with both of them. So maybe it's a seasonal thing or uh, maybe it's a gendered thing again. I'm not sure, I just want to mention it. The babies have these small spots and are darker in the color. Uh, one thing that tells them apart from other deers, besides that they are visibly smaller than most, is these kind of chubby cheeks that are a little bit different, difficult to see here on the adult, but you can see the baby have these small fuller cheeks. So let's get into the game here. And I will say though, I don't think I. Oh, we have er uh, here. You can see this one half. Uh, the antlers or horns. I think it's the first time I've seen one with them though. Um, but let's jump into Supedia. You can see it here. It's near threatened, and the population in the wild is unknown. It's from South America, more specifically Chile and Argentina, and it live in tropical and temperate biomes. One of them need 200 square meters of land. I do believe they swim. I think I saw them swim, but it was like out of the corner of my eye, so I'm not completely sure on that. Uh, maybe we will notice something later. Uh, live in places from 8 to 42 degrees Celsius, and you need a great to fins above 4.5. 95 feet that's more than one and a half meter i think it's about 160 or something like that that's a big fence for such a little fella uh groups aren't that big one male one female i have a lot in here because i want to be able every time i do one of these videos i always have four males six females to make sure that if there are some colorations i want to show them out uh dominance is unknown they are polyamorous shy and they should not enter the habitat they are about 25 inch tall 25 inch that's about 67 or something like that centimeters uh life expectancy seven years and weigh around uh 20 pounds that's 10 kilo which is your maturity at age 10 and they can reproduce until they die only give a single offspring every other year so it will take a little time to breed them uh and they are pregnant for nine months they should be very easy however to get to reproduce in captivity and as a South American jungle animal. They fit in nicely with the tape here. I can't pronounce happy power, giant anteater, and the llama. For enrichments, we have a lot going on here. And I'm not sure what, because I thought they were made on one of the deers, but they just don't fit with the deers. Uh, enrichments wild. I don't remember all uh, plans to enrichment. Uh, for the animals so the, it's possible that it's models after uh, african deer of sorts like uh, sable antelope or thompson's castle or something like that that's very <coughs> very possible but i just know it doesn't fit with deers what threw me up with this plant screen I, uh which they have then they of course have the grab 
drop ball, I think, all deer and deer adjacent animals have them. Then they have the two big balls. And once again, here we have the adult oh, and even a pregnant female. Um, yeah. I don't think I have to say anything. Just... Just look, I, 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 yeah, I don't have to say anything. Uh, herbs and marker, both scratching trees and scratching pole again. Same. Um, for food enrichment, they have this standard deer food enrichment, which is the uh, hanging feeder, the uh, uh, small ball feeder. What is that called again? Grassing ball feeder and the small barrel. We do have a few colorations going on. Um, you can see here. I think what all of them have going on is the darker in the front than on the back. But you can see even though it has that both of them. This is darker and this is a little more orangey in it. Um, this over here is even more orangey. If I can get you over here maybe there uh, i'm not sure if there's any other colorations than these three but that's the ones i noticed uh this one have antlers and this one is a male female female male and the antlers are there or horns again i'm not sure but again they are very small and they have the hairless variation doesn't have antlers doesn't have doesn't have this one have and that's a male so it is a <coughs> sorry so it is a gendered thing as you can see here, they do swim very bad. Uh, this is oh, easy to fix. Just put them in a habitat with only shallow water and you will have no issues here. Again, um, I don't think that a lot of deer habitats have this deep water, so it's that... Sorry. Uh, so it's not really an issue there. The babies, however, do swim much better, as you can see here. And if we have a dry baby, we have one over here. They do have those spots here. Ooh, we have the little glitching going on also down here. We have a tiny bit going on. You can see in here on the inner thigh when I move around. Uh, keep in mind that might be my computer, so it might not happen on yours. Um, but otherwise, they look great. They are very cute. They are a little cartoonish. Uh, and they miss a little bit of fur, I would like to say. If you look here at the cheek area, they have these longer strands of hairs going backwards here, the babies. Uh, they don't have that, and the he head also seems a little small compared to the rest of the body and the fact that it's placed wrong uh, compared to what I can see here. For me, it looks on this specific picture that the head is faced on top of the body and not in front of the body. However, if you look at the adult, the head is placed in front of the body, so it is possible that it's just a are doing like you know, um, <laughs> uh, so it's a possibility there. However, I would like the head to be a little bigger or the body a little smaller. <laughs> but they remembered all of the um, colorations. They do have a very, very, very short tail. And that's something some people will love and some people will hate. Um, but it's very cool. Very, very cute. It's even smiling. I love that. Very cute. 
Uh, I don't think I looked that closely at the adult, actually. Do we have one facing the sun? Of course we don't. Let's take... Didn't we have a male? Were they female, all three of them? Apparently. Male, here. It's just because the body is the same, but the horns are different. Again, horns are endless. Something. Here he is. And he's called Mateo, and he's 8.9. Um, again, little glitching. Keep in mind that might be my computer. Here you can see the little more thick cheeks compared to very many deer adjacent animals. A very thin and elongated limbs, long, thin legs slender body to really be uh, aerodynamic this isn't that it still has the slender legs but the body is much more robust uh, and the face is just much more chunky <laughs> basically um, again there's just not as many big predators in South America. I know they have the jaguar, but if you compare to Africa, where we have the lions, the uh, cheetahs, the uh, African leopards, Asia have the tigers, the Asian leopards, the snow leopards, the, all of the leopards. Um, so they are fairly safe compared to that or in South America. Um, So, but did, did they look great? I feel like the texture varies a little bit in how good it is. Uh, I'm just, yeah, here you can see, I really like the texture here. Very much of these really short hair. So it appears like a very short haired animals that have thick fur, but very, very short. Where down here, it seems much longer. And the same here, they also appear longer. Uh, I will say, though, if you look at the uh, butt cheek on the picture here, it seems a little bit longer, but that may be because it's got hurt or anything like that. Um, But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, a close-up of the... Orange, of course. That's why I picked a meal. Okay. The horn itself isn't like magical made. But it's good. It has the shine to it that horn texture have. That's also why I don't want it to call them antlers. Though it's called antlers on a lot of the earth. But it looks more like a horn. Um, we have the lighter parts, the darker parts. We have the mishmash of coloration in them. It's very minute, but it is there. What I really like is that the fur... Here you can see the strands of hair go up and cover uh, some of the horn. It's not a clean line like it's just placed above it. It looks like it grows out of and then the hair strands grows around it, which is very beautiful they made. Feet are very good, but it's as good as the other mats. Uh, I think at this point it's really hard to make some magical thing with the deers. Um, to be honest. But it is really good made. Um, eye is very beautiful. If you don't see this in full HD. Then you may see it as a just black eye. It has the almost black around here. Like shadow band. Then it's actually dark brown. Actually dark brown. And then you have the black pu pupil uh, in the middle. Which are very beautifully done. Also the um, borderline down here is also beautifully done. If there's anything I can put my finger on. it's You made the hair strands around the horn very very good. Why didn't you do the same here with the nose? 
the only thing I have to say bad about it. And that's really good for a mod, to be honest. Um, however, the texture of the nose, it has these small bumpy spots that you know for a dog nose, for instance. Which I really appreciate when they took, take the time to do. So, actually, that's all I got to say uh, for now, guys. Um, yeah. I was a little concerned about the moment of them, but it looks good. Overall, it looks very good. Uh, besides the swimming, <laughs> the diving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna end it here, guys. You know, it will like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll find the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>